I thought it was this way. Yeah, that's that's that. Yeah. All right. Okay. You go, Tim. No. I will do that for me. Yahweh, Yahweh, Basham, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Raklanawa, Waya Sharala, Wahabi Absapariam, Shema, Shema, Yashirala, Yashirala, Yahweh, Allah, how you know, Yahweh, Aka, Aka, Shema, Shema, Yashirala, Yashirala, Yahweh, Allah. Praise the mighty Yah. Praise the mighty Yah. His word to be praised. His words to be praised. Allah Yah. Allah Yah. Abba Yenawa. Abba Yenawa. Shaba Shemayim. Shaba Shemayim. Budash. Budash. Ayah. Ayah. Shemka. Shemka. Yahawa. Yahawa. Malakufka. Malakufka. Dabaa. Dabaa. Ratazaka. Ratazaka. Ayah. Ayah. Aisha. Aisha. Baaratazaka. Kawafnawa, Lai will love you. Amen. Kalaya. 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 Praise the mighty Yah. Praise the mighty Yah. It's worthy to be praised. Worthy to be praised. Kalaya. Kalaya. Yah, you ain't got to repeat this. This is uh, this is uh, Psalms 121. I will lift up my eyes into the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from Yahweh, which made heaven and earth. He would not suffer that foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee shall not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Yahshua Allah shall neither slumber nor sleep. Yahweh is thy keeper. Yahweh is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Yahweh shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Yahweh shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in. From this time forth and even forevermore, the water Yahweh. I can say that. The water Yahweh. The water Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Yahweh Shai. Kala Yah. Kala Yah. Kala Yah. Kala Yah. Amen. Amen. Come. Come on. Praise. I was going to do a different lesson. Elder was here, but I got another lesson. So we're going to go into uh, the new year. God. Happy New Year. We don't know what year we're under. We don't know what year we're in. Esau tell us we're in year 2023. Right. We don't know what year, but we know is the new year because of the season. Right. Just like we don't know the time of the return of Mashiach, but we know the seasons. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's go to Exodus 13 and 4, Bible Kashar. Somebody get Exodus 13 and 4. Um, this is this is uh, uh, the real New Year. Not January 1st. Not uh, uh, the countdown with the ball dropping and um, Times Square confetti going all around. Now, this is the real New Year of the Lord. And how does the Lord deal with Seasons and 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 feast days. Most of our feast day, all of our feast days, deals with the agriculture. Most of them, not all of them. Most of them deal with the agriculture. So we was a people that dealt with, you know, bringing forth uh, uh, fruits, with fruits, vegetables. That's that's what made your wealth. If you have today, if you have no cash on hand, but you got a farm that's yielding food and fruit and got cattle just like just like um uh abraham and lot they were rich they 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 had to split up the substance because they was they was taking too much too much of the land over and they were bumping heads their servants their oxen they're different you know so that's how you know according to the scriptures a person was wealthy not a paper money money can be burned right now if your money 
if all the money in the bank, if all the banks close and shut down, but you own a hundred acres of land with 50 acres worth of cattle and 50 acres worth of, of crops, you 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 a you a billionaire. You see what I'm saying? Right. You're a billionaire. You don't need no cash. Right. Right. You can survive. You can use that as trade and barter. Right. You know, you can trade with people, trade with brothers, trade with sisters, even trade with the nations. Hey, I got I got uh two cows. I trade you for um you know, for 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 some grains. If you got grains of rice or whatever. You know, so that's what makes you rich. That's the substance. So this is the year that you know, the beginning of the year where everything starts to change and this is when the farmers of our people, they're like, yes, the blessing's coming now. Right, you see right. what I'm saying? Because this is when you yield, when you start yielding your crops. This is when you start planting your seeds. Actually, you plant them before this year, right. before the new year, and everything's starting to sprout up. Mm -hmm. Then you go into the, the Feast of First Fruits when everything is that, that first burst right, right, right. of substance the comes in. Right, right. the harvest. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, let's go to that. Exodus 13 and 4. Comes the book of Exodus chapter 13 and verse 4. This day came ye out in the month of Abib. Uh -huh. And it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Hivites and Jebusites, which he swear unto thy fathers to give thee a land flowing with milk and honey, uh -huh. that thou shalt keep this service in this month. You see, so you should keep this service in this month. And this is the time where we came out of Egypt. Come. This is the, this also represents that. It was a new year, a new start, mm -hmm. a spiritual new start out of captivity. Come. So it all goes, it's all spiritual. Come. You see, yes, we got a physical new year, but then it's spiritual because this is when we became new. We we, we left Egypt because it's going to go into the Passover. Okay, let's just read a little bit of that. Come, what are you doing? Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, mm -hmm. and in the seventh day shall be a feast to the Lord. Right. Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days, and there shall be no leavened bread be seen with thee. Neither shall there be leaven seen with thee in all thy quarters. And that's what we're getting ready to go into. And that's from this day forth, it's 14 days counting to make the Shabbat, to, to make the, the, the first Shabbat of the Passover. You understand? And then the seventh day, which will be seven days after the first day. So that's just showing you this is when everything started. Okay, go ahead. Verse 8. And thou shalt show thy sons in that, in that day, saying, This is done because of that which the Lord did unto me when I came forth out of Egypt. Right, so this is what we have to teach our children. This is what we have to show them. Show them this, you know, because niggas is getting ready for Easter. Come, come. Niggas come. is getting ready for, for uh, uh, what they call it, uh, uh, Resurrection Day. <laughs> right, right. You know, they got all types of names now because they're trying to stray away from Easter because we blast them on that. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? So then now it's Resurrection Day. Yeah, it it's um, uh, um, Good Friday. Good Friday. Good Friday you know, Palm they, Sunday. They, they got all types of names for it. Right. You know, so, it, but they're trying to stray away from Easter because when you look up Easter, it's completely uh, 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 in, created by, by, um, by paganism. Right. The whole thing is paganism. Right. Okay? Yeah. Go ahead. Verse 9. And it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thy hand, and for a memorial between thy eyes, uh -huh. that the Lord's law may be in thy mouth. For with a strong hand have the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. Right. Thou shalt therefore keep this ordinance in his season, from year to year. So the same way, the only way you could keep the Passover is by knowing the month of Abib when it starts. Right. You understand? Keeping that new moon. So let's drop down to 34 and 18, Baba Kishore. Come. Same chapter. Exodus 34 and 18. Exodus 34 and 18? Come. Come. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 34 
and verse 18. So not that last verse was 9? Yes. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 34, and verse 18. At the feast of unleavened bread shalt thou keep. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, as I commanded thee in the time of the month of Abib. For in the month of Abib thou camest out from Egypt. So that's what you, we got to always keep that in mind. Yes, it's a new year. Happy new year. Mm -hmm. New season, new start, but this is the time where our forefathers, which was us, going on a deeper level, huh. came out of Egypt by that strong right arm of the Most High. Huh. You see what I'm saying? Huh. So drop down to 23 and 15. Huh. Yeah. Same chapter. Same go chapter. back. Yeah, go back to 23 and 15. Exodus 23 and 15. Huh. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 15. Let's start from the 14. Verse 14, when everybody has it, says, come. come. And it reads, three times thou shalt keep a feast unto me in the year. So now, the three times is not counting the today. Right. But if you're a Hebrew Israelite, you should, if you, especially if you went hardcore for New Year's, January 1st, December uh, uh, 31st, you went crazy and you was hanging out in all the parties and you was getting drunk, you had your best suit on you put, make sure you have money in your pocket because you was superstitious saying <laughs> if you didn't have no money coming into the new year you was going to be broke right. uh, if you did all that folly right. and you're not here you should be checking yourself right. period uh, right. you see what I'm saying, but is this a requirement that the Most High says you got no other choice to make it, no but if if you ain't got a valid excuse why you're not here, then you gotta check yourself, bro. Right. Ice cube. Check yourself. Right. Wreck yourself. Before you wreck, wreck yourself. yourself. Oh, that's fine. Okay, go ahead. Read on. Verse 15. Thou shalt keep the feast of unleavened bread. Thou shalt eat unleavened bread seven days, as I commanded thee, in the time appointed of the month of bed. Right. For in it thou camest out from Egypt, and none shall appear before me empty. Right. So the same, the, yes, the Passover, and that's another thing. If you could do more for the Passover, uh -huh. you know, hey, if you, if you got money, where you wear, you got two hundred dollar sneakers all the time, you got. A, a brand new fitted on you got a new a new polo shirt on you got new jeans on mm -hmm. every time you're on Instagram every time you're going out to chill you got the expensive jackets mm -hmm. and you come to the Passover with the same garment on from last year <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you, you got to check yourself uh -huh. Because you can't appear before the Lord empty right, right. And we're going to go into Deuteronomy, the 16th chapter Because this is according to what you can afford right. Now we know brothers, certain brothers can't, probably can't afford a new gun right. This is not speaking to those brothers right. uh -huh. But if you can afford, man, get, get jazzed up, man Put some effort into it, put some decorations around mm -hmm. You know, we ain't got the day. We spoke about it before. We're gonna get the backdrop and everything. Mm -hmm. But you gotta you gotta you gotta decorate. You gotta show the most high. nigga, you decorated your Christmas tree. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You decorated them Easter eggs doing the Easter egg hunt, putting all the pink and purple paint on them. Right. You got your Easter basket. Mm -hmm. You right. you you decorated the bed when you was trying to get some buns on Valentine's Day with the <laughs> with the God. with the rose petals. Right. God, you God. did all that folly. Right. Right. You went in right. on paganism. Oh, right. body. Yeah. How you can't go in for the most high? For the most high yeah. That's God. some lazy. That's some lazy stuff, man. God. It's slothful. It's slothful. You know, and even if you you ain't got a school, man, you ain't got a school. You couldn't rent the spot. You got a brother's crib. You go in, man. Brothers, bring this, bring that, and, and go in. Right. Show, show the most. I don't come with Cain's offering, bro. Right. 
Don't right. come with Cain's offerings because right. it's not going to be accepted. Right. right. That's right. right. You can't. You gotta. You gotta have something besides Cain's offering. Right. He didn't put his. He didn't put his all into it. Right. Some brothers say, "Well, he didn't have meats, and he brought vegetables." And yeah, that's that. Whatever. But it wasn't. His heart wasn't in it. Right. right. The Most High know your heart. So if your heart wasn't in it, if that's all you can bring, right. The Most High know your heart, and He gonna be like, "Yo, I accept this." Right. But why you? He didn't accept that because your heart wasn't in it. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to keep that in mind. So let's drop that and go to Deuteronomy 16 and 1. Yeah, some brothers, man, they be half-stepping, man, when yeah. it, once it comes to the most high. Right. So everything else, mm -hmm. they're for a thousand percent. Yeah, right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. And you see it in Israel all the time. Right. right. It's the so like, you read the answer. It's 16 and 16. 16. That was uh, Deuteronomy um, 16 that was and 1. 16. If I do, I'm not mistaken. Uh, 15. 15? Yeah, 14 okay. to 15. Are you on the board? Yeah. Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 16, and verse 1. Everybody have it says, Come. Come. Observe the month of a bit and keep the Passover unto the Lord thy God. Right. For in the month of a bit, the Lord thy God brought thee forth out of Egypt by night. But see, he says the beginning is what? Observe the month of a bit. Right. Uh, it's a new moon. We're in the new moon. You see what I'm saying? We observe all the other new moons. Right. You know, the highest new moon, of course, is the Feast of uh, Trumpets. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the seventh new moon. But this is something that the Lord says observe. Right. And he says to observe all the new moons. But this is something, yo, bro, yo, it's a new year. Let's get right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let's set up these prayers. Let's go into a little lesson and, mm -hmm. and let's give the most highest honor and do. And this is your sacrifice, yo. Got some wine, got some food, whatever you can bring, right. whatever you can afford. Give me that, what a man is able to. What is that? Is it 16 or 16? Uh, 16, yes. It's, it's, it could start from 15. And work, um, and work, that, um, work your way down. And it should not uh, appear. Right. About empty. Yeah, you can start from 15 and 16. 15, 15 and 16 together. Um, the the Rodney? 16 and 15. Yeah, same chapter. Oh, yeah. okay. The no. 15 verse. 15 verse and the 16 verse. Okay. And the seven is the 17. You gotta read it. Yeah, 17. 17. 15 and 17 verse. Why, why is this here? Go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 15, verse 17, and it reads, "Then thou shalt take a all." No, 16 and 15. Oh, so like this. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 16, and verse 15. Three times in a year. No, no. no 16, 16 verse 15. 15 is right here. The 15 verse, huh? It's up here, right there. Boom. That's oh, 15. Oh, Salakia. 16 verse 15. Oh, the 16. Salakia. Yeah. Seven days shalt thou keep a solemn feast unto the Lord thy God in the place which the Lord shall choose. Now, we all know that's supposed to be the land, but we ain't got that right now. Okay? We're rehearsing the righteous acts. Go ahead. Because the Lord thy God, Yahweh, shall bless thee in all thy increase. You see, that's how he's going to bless you in all thine increase. Mm -hmm. You got you to gotta show sacrifice. Uh, that's why some, some brothers is always going through hell because they're not sacrificing for the Lord. So what the most high going to sacrifice for you? Mm -hmm. He ain't going to give you no, no, no just do. Mm -hmm. Niggas, oh, I'm going through hell. Woe is me, spirit. Uh -huh. Because you, you're not doing for the most high. Mm -hmm. Even when you when you going through hell and trials and tribulations, the best thing to do is come to camp. Right. Come. Yep. Be around the brothers. Get that spirit rough. Get them demons. You know, them oh. demons get they get arrows pointed, hit at them. They right. get they get cut. Them, while you sitting there, and them demons is, is on you, and you around the brothers. Scriptures coming out. Other brothers got they they in a a, a better zone right. with the Most High. So that spirit that aura rub off on you. Come. You know, and that's what people got. That that's why we're. Is, is a brotherhood. Yeah, come on. You see what I'm saying? When yeah. it tells you in Psalms 133 that it's like the ointment that has ran down Adam, uh, uh, Aaron's beard. Mm. So what's that talking about? That's an anointing. Right, right. right. That's the ointment is when it run down the oil, run down the beard. That's He got anointed, man. Right, come on, so come you being anointed amongst the brotherhood. Right. That makes you feel better. Right. Your spirit could be down and out. Brother, come to your man. Hey, take, take a cup to it. You feel good, man. Come on, come on. Even Jake in the world, to a low degree, that's what they do to get over relationships. Mm -hmm. 
they oh, oh, bros before hoes. Right. They gonna right. be around the niggas. They gonna go outside, go to the club, go party, go bullshit. But they be around they peoples. Right. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Okay, go ahead. Because the Lord thy God shall bless thee in all thy increase, and in all the works of thy hands. In all the works of thine hands. Okay. And and that is is going to the agriculture, but we don't got agriculture now. So what's what's the work of your hands? Where's your sacrifice, bro? What are you bringing to the altar? Okay, go ahead. Therefore, thou shalt surely rejoice. Uh huh. Three times in a year shall all thy males appear before the Lord thy God in the place which He shall choose, in the feast of unleavened bread, and in the feast of weeks, and uh -huh. in the feast of tabernacles. And they shall not appear before the Lord empty. You can't come empty, man. Come. You can't come with, especially if you sit in, 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 in with, with, a, with a knot in your pocket. Come. You got a knot. Even if you don't got a knot in your pocket, yo, bro, go get a $15 bottle of wine, bring a drink off of it. Right. Go, go, shoot, go buy some anointing uh, olive oil. Yeah, go bring something. Something, right. You see what I'm saying? If you ain't got it. There's no reason why no brother or sister mm -hmm. comes empty-handed with nothing. You can't bring a, a pack of plates, yeah. a, a, a pack of cups. Ninety-nine cents. Ninety-nine cents, <laughs> though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Contribute something. Yeah, you got to bring something. Huh. And the most high seems what you can afford. Right. If you can afford to do more, do it. Do Go, go big. Yeah, uh, also, it's a lot of cheap. You know, brothers have the calendars. Mm -hmm. You guys know of the dates. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's no way in hell, you know, come the new moon or the feast days, you're telling me I, I'm struggling. You know what I mean? I don't have it. I can't bring nothing. So how about you put like a dollar up right. every every week? Yeah, come. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Every day. Right. So when the new moon come, mm -hmm. right, if you got five dollars, You'll get something with that five dollars and bring it to come. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The Lord see it, man. Right. right. You know what I mean? Right. So brothers cannot just be slothful, man. Right, right. You know, you could buy that chopped cheese. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? That yeah. bacon egg and cheese. <laughs> right. Every day. Right. Every day. You know what I'm saying? With, yeah. With, man. with, with. There's something to drink with it. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Then you get the big apple juice, the big yeah. orange yeah. juice to yeah. go with it. Yeah. Yeah. That that joker now in New York is like five dollars a sale. You know what I'm saying? But you always got a BLT. Yeah. You always got a chopped cheese. Yeah, yeah Jake, Jake is crazy, man. That's our people though. They, and and that that be that 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 be that Cain's offering, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? But this is what this is the kicker right here. Go ahead. Huh. Read on. Verse 17. Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord thy God, Yahweh, which he hath given thee. You see, so you got to bring forth what you can afford. Like, whatever he's blessed you with, you got to bring that forth. Right. Niggas don't, don't pay 10% tithes. Right. I tell true. you that much. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Most of Israel don't pay 10% tithes. Uh -huh. And of course, then, bro, don't get simple. Oh, yeah, it's, it's supposed to be of your flocks and your this and that, nigga. You ain't got no corn. Come, come. And, and shit, if you want to do that, then then go bring some, go get some sweet peas, corns, go get some candy yams, go get all of that and bring it. Here. You you ain't bringing that. Right. So what you talking about? Right, right. You ain't bringing that neither. Right, right. So how you don't go hard or a little extra for the feast days? Right. That's, that's just the spirit, man. So let's go to um. We yeah one two three yeah. Let, let's yeah yeah. This is gonna be called self self accountability. That's the name of this lesson. I just wanted to bring in the bib, the bib month, the new year, what we're celebrating, where we at. Let's go to Jeremiah seventeen and nine. You say accountability is the next one. So, it's a self self, self accountability. accountability. So, uh, Jeremiah seventeen verse nine, all right? Come, come. Why is my voice? Jeremiah seventeen verse nine. Oh yeah, that's a one of my favorite scriptures. Come, come. Right. Yeah, I got it. 
There's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 9. When everybody's habits say, Come. 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 The heart is deceitful above all things and despitefully wicked. Desperately. Who, I mean, slot slot you. And desperately wicked. Who can know it? So, so who knows your mind? Who knows your mind? Nobody can know it, but who else? The Most High. Oh, yeah. The Most High. That's how it's desperately wicked. Because your thoughts, he's just looking at you like this. You ain't got to say nothing or do nothing. All that shit going up in your is just database. It looks like the Matrix. All the numbers and letters. And the Most High reading it, he like, <laughs> All those thoughts is, you know, it's, it's, it's like a Rolodex with the right. most high. Right. So it says, who can know it? Right. Nobody know it. Nobody can know what you think. And you can look at a brother mm -hmm. and a brother be in deep thought. You can't say, you could probably say, hey, I, you look like you got a lot on your mind. But right. you don't right. know right. what he got on his right. mind. Right. Nigga could be contemplating suicide. Mm. Yeah, he could be contemplating killing his wife, his kids. You don't know what a man right. could be right. contemplating. Right. And sometimes those thoughts... Not those thoughts, but certain demonic thoughts. You're not even thinking that, but it just pop in your head. Bro, and you're like, what the, where, where did that come from? That's a yeah. demon. Yeah, right, right. Uh, That's yeah, a demon. Yeah, Sometimes yeah, you right. be praying, mm -hmm. and just a demon pop up. You're like, what the oh, hell did that come from? Try to play you. That's how we came from. Yeah, uh, and that's, that's, it's everybody. We uh, all part, we all going through these struggles. Uh, okay, go ahead. The next, the next verse. Verse 10. I, the Lord, search the heart. You see? So he searched the mind. Okay? Because we always read 9, but nobody reads 10. Yeah, going for okay, go ahead. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways, uh -huh. and according to the fruit of his doings. You see? So that's what the Most High gives you. Right. According to your ways and according to the fruit of your doings. Uh -huh. So, it, but it's, it's your thoughts too, because right, right. a lot of sometimes, if you're strong enough, you don't manifest your thoughts in the flesh, but you manifest your some 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 manifested like yo, you know what? You you probably look at a man's wife and say, uh, you know, the thought come in your mind. You like some brothers will be like, hell no, get out of here, Satan. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Right. But then another nigga like. Yeah, I'm gonna push my luck. Right, right. <laughs> you see no, what I'm saying? Right, right. That's Can't a good chance, right? My, 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 my rib, my rib, um, in in the south, right? Um, she had, she had more sisters than brothers, oh, okay. and she said that her father used to tell her that he'll sit there, he'll be drinking, right? And, you know, smoking his cigar, or whatever, right. and a demon to jump in him and say. Why don't you go sleep with your daughters? Mm. And he used to say, she and she used to catch him. He used to go, why the fuck would I do that shit for? Mm. So he used to talk back to the demon. Mm. You see what I'm saying? You can. Right. Huh. Huh. You know what I'm saying? And I learned that from my, my, my spiritual father as well, Yashalaba. Oh. Yashalaba used to have those type of, you know, he not those thoughts, but he used to have a bunch of thoughts and I used to hear them cursing out the demons. Because those are demons on you. Right. You can't right. say that you don't have demons if the most I saying your heart is desperately wicked. Right. Who could know it? Right. You see what I'm saying? So there's all types of wicked thoughts that's going to come in your head, in your mind. But don't let it manifest through the flesh. Right. If you defeat the thought, then you could defeat that spirit. Oh, come so sometimes you might... It's like 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 Yahweh shot told Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. Right, 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 right. You see what I'm saying? Right, so right. you gotta acknowledge those surroundings. Okay. Only if um Lot was so drunk, he wouldn't, you know, uh, uh seat up his daughters. I, I don't know how drunk can you be. Yeah, like, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like you don't know those are your daughters. Exactly right. So, yeah. you know, I, I I believe I you can't prove it, but I, I don't believe he he didn't know. You might, you know what I'm saying? Like this, bro, it's, you, you, it's your it daughter. Like the heat of the moment. You've been with them since Sodom and Gomorrah all over the goddamn place yeah. with you. They, they mama dead. You see what I'm saying? And they still with you. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, how you don't know those, them your daughters? Exactly. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. You got sometimes the most I will yeah. has to be fulfilled. Right. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? So right. the most I put a, that confusion 
Mm. Like not knowing spirit right. 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 and derision. Right. Because, 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 because those God. two nations had to be created. created. Right. Uh, like uh, Moab and all you know uh, what I'm saying? Uh, imagine if there was no Moab and Japanese uh, and, 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 and Amex. Right. Yeah. We uh, wouldn't have no heavy chicken wings on every corner. Yeah. Or the laundry mat. Right. The right. laundry right. mat. Right. 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 And, 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 and Sony PlayStation. Sony PlayStation. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? And China Mac. China Yeah, Yeah, one quick thing. Um, to add on to what our brother's bringing out, we want to have a nation to show an example. Like, look, we can't do these things. Right, but right. the rat, cat, and dog. Come. Ain't no other nation doing stuff like that. So at least the Most High, they reveal and they show us right. that these ain't the type of things we want to be getting into. Right, right. We, right. we actually could point it out. Like, right. Moab is participating. Mm -hmm. That like will that. be done. That's the right. prayer, right? Come, come. come. So we done. Come. Yeah, come. come. Let's let's go to all. Uh, Romans 14 and 11. Uh-huh. This is the book of Romans, chapter 14 and verse 11. When everybody have it, say, come. come. For it is written. Come. For it is written. As I live, saith the Lord, mm -hmm. every knee shall bow to me. Right. And every tongue shall confess to God your help. Right. So every knee going to bow, every tongue going to confess. Go ahead. So that every one of us shall give account of himself to God. So you're going to have to give account for yourself. You see what I'm saying? And the most I already know your thoughts. So if you're already slacking and you're not giving in no effort, the most I know, like, that's, that's your sacrifice, bro. You got the sacrifice of Cain. It's a lazy, it's a lazy sacrifice. Okay? Let's go to um, Galatians 5 and 19. Uh, this is the book of Galatians, chapter 5, and verse 19. When everybody have it, say, Come. Mm -hmm. Now, the works of the flesh are manifest. See, the works of the flesh are manifest. So now, your thoughts, your thoughts manifest the works of your flesh. Come. You're going to do righteous deeds in the flesh mm -hmm. if you manifest the righteous thoughts that you have. Come. But now these are the thoughts of the flesh that if you manifest, is you condemn yourself. Come. Okay, now go ahead. Which are these? Adultery. Right, now it's heavy because Yahweh showed you that you could commit adultery in your mind. Come. Right? You can commit adultery in your mind. Why is that? Because once you do it, and you 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 already done you done seen it, you done you done unclothed the woman with your with your a, a married woman. You know what I'm saying? You, you done unclothed a married woman with your eyes. Right. Who's to say if you don't have that woman alone in the room, you won't try something? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's why he explained that because you got to get those those filthy thoughts out of your mind. Right. Don't look at another man's wife. Don't look. Don't even look them. I, I don't even look them in the eye. I say shalom, sister. Right. And, I, and I keep it moving. I look oh, shalom. Right. You know what I'm saying? They start talking to me. Certain sisters, like in, in Georgia, you know, brothers' wives, because we communicate with the food and everything. Right, right, right. That's different. But after that, that's it. I don't want. Right, I don't right. want. I don't want you on Facebook. I don't want to know what's going on with you and the family. Like, mm -hmm. I talk to the husband. Come I talk on, to the children. Right. Okay. Go ahead. Now, the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, uh -huh. fornication, uh -huh. uncleanness, uh -huh. and lasciviousness. Right, go ahead. Adultery, idolatry, idolatry, idolatry uh -huh. witchcraft, uh -huh. hatred, variance, emulations, uh -huh. wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. Right, so, so all of these thoughts, all of these are thoughts before they manifested in the flesh. Huh. Mm -hmm. That's you see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You manifest, these are thoughts. You're not going to, you don't just slip up and, and, and your rod is in another man's wife. Right. It doesn't happen like that. Uh -huh. You got to have thought that shit over. Yo, uh -huh. I'm going to do this. Or I'm, I'm going to sleep with this woman. I'm going to fornicate with her. And I don't give a damn about the consequences. Not even it don't have to be a married woman. It could be another. I I because I, that's no. A lot of niggas smashing women and don't don't 
don't deal with them according to the to the law. Yeah, right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Being whoremongers. You got certain brothers uh, uh, say that you can buy a horse. You know what I'm saying? These are elders. Oh, it's just a business transaction. <laughs> you out of your mind. <laughs> These are teachers and elders. Madness. You see what I'm saying? And then you wonder why they got spirits on. Them. Oh, oh, they got those spirits. Their, their, their mind. Their mind is very wicked. Right. You see what I'm saying? And then you're going to justify it with scripture. You're bugging. Yes, yeah. Go ahead. Envy. Murder. What, what's murder? What's the difference between murder and killing? Um, well, well, uh, murder and killing, uh, I would say that uh, you would have to go to war, right? Would it pertain to that and kill your enemy? No. no? When, when you kill, you just kill. Right. Murder, you got to plan it. Oh, right, oh, it's premeditated. Oh, all right. I know. That's why there's self-defense laws, and then even Esau let you know that there's self-defense, and then there's murder in the first degree, murder in the second degree, because it's premeditated. Oh, okay. right. you, you, uh, what's that white boy that just killed his wife and his and his and his, and his son? Murdoch. Oh, Murdoch. 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 Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? And that's the, the, the crack is crazy. Right. Yeah, you you crazy thinking too. about it? You you and then and then you see the video. He's crying to the cops. Oh my God! Somebody shot him. And right, yeah. it's such a goddamn lie. <laughs> Big time. This is the way the white man really is. That's uh, his true spirit. Yeah, uh, God. But that was all premeditated. That whole time he's hating his wife. Right. Dusty bitch, right. I'ma kill you right. and my ugly ass son. <laughs> right. You see what I'm saying? Uh, that's what that's those is premeditated. You don't just off instinct do that. You had to be thinking that. Right. Your mind is desperately wicked. Yeah. Okay, it's self accountability. Right. You gotta take you gotta take account to it. Go ahead. Envyings, murders, drunkenness, re revelings, right, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Right, oh. because you haven't changed your thought process. It's, if the, if the, if the, Yahweh Shah said the kingdom of heaven is within you. Right. Don't look for it to come from this way and that way. Right. You are the kingdom. Right. How it starts... In the mind. Right. That's why even Esau tell you a mind. Remember, I don't know. How, well, I know y'all brothers know. A mind is terrible thing to waste. Yeah, they used to uh, fry the egg. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, this is your brain on drugs. Oh yeah. This is this your brain on drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah, mind is a terrible thing to waste. Yeah. Right. yeah. Calm, calm. You see what I'm saying? Because Esau know everything starts in the mind. Calm. Calm. Yeah, calm. Calm. He ran with that shit. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. He ran with that. He ran with it, right? Yeah, he ran with it. Every yeah. 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 five seconds you saw the commercial. Right. 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 A free. A slave that wants to be free mm -hmm. the whole time and, and that's going to die and fight for his freedom the whole time in his mind while every slave is bucking up and just they just falling in line mm -hmm. he's sitting there like I'm going to get out these chains mm -hmm. I'm going to get out that's why they had to cut Kunt to keep their feet off because right, uh, that uh, nigga didn't want to stop trying to get out right. his mind was set I'm not going to be a slave escape. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm getting out of here that's uh, your mindset Right, right. Other people that just give up and say, "Yo, the hell with it. I just, that, I'm, I'm gonna be here and I'm gonna stay comfortable." Right. That's the mindset of a slave. Right. Come. You see what I'm saying? So whatever you put into your, that's the seed that you plant. Whatever seed you plant mm -hmm. is the, is the seed that's gonna grow. Go ahead. Verse 22. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Right, there's no law because you 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 you're doing all these things to your people and to yourself. Oh. You gotta love yourself first. Oh, yeah. So you gotta know if your mind, if you dealing with wicked thoughts all day, you know you gotta go into fasting. You gotta go into prayer. You gotta be around the brotherhood. Yep. Ask the brothers, ask the elders to anoint you. Ask people to pray for you yep. on the daily. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Say seven psalms a day. Go in the, there's mad psalms. Start from Psalms 1 to 7. Do seven psalms. Mm -hmm. Or do seven psalms within uh, uh, morning prayer. Do seven psalms. If you're really dealing with spirits, man, heavy spirits, seven psalms during noontime. Seven psalms during, uh, uh, before you go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Continue to, that's how you, you stay in that rhythm, stay in that spirit. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I go, I go days without reading. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But, 
I'm, I'm saying my prayers. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to the Most High. Mm -hmm. when, when I'm in the South, I'm driving most of the time. Mm -hmm. So while I'm driving, uh, I'm calling on the Most High. Mm -hmm. Oh, Yahweh, oh, Yahweh, oh, mighty power. And I'm singing hymns to him mm -hmm. just to stay in that spirit. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's those little things that keep your mind from drifting. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? Because your mind could drift. Mm -hmm. Big time. You know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> and, 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 and thought, like, I want to put hands and feet on niggas. Mm -hmm. That's what my thoughts. And I be seeing sometimes, I be seeing, and I, I, I get this thought out of my mind. My mind. Right, right. I don't want to kill them. Right, right. I just want to beat the brakes off the right, anti-life. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I... I got to I say, no, Lord, please yeah. take this out of my yeah, mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You know what I mean? The yeah. experience is deep, man. Yeah. Yeah. So like, that, that was the same thing I did in Brooklyn, right? Mm -hmm. right? When I was down there, it was a lot of wickedness happening around me. But for me to stay away from that. Like, you the Wi Fi? You uh, got Wi Fi? That was, that was on. But it's still buffering? No, no, it's back on. It's back on. We should get the Wi Fi, though. Yeah, you want to restart it? Nah, no. Nah, keep it Buffering again, and we try. Yeah, yeah, I it's buffered reading. twice already, but yeah. that was good. Yeah, I used to read to, to you know read the psalm to him, and we used to read like 10, 15 psalms mm -hmm. every time. Like, huh? and the brother would go to sleep peacefully, kid. Right, it just fall out. Right, it's a look man. When I hear the scriptures, right. the G one F two with the five G. Yeah, that one. Get that one. Oh. Um, I just tie it. You want to take it out real quick? What is it? Pause. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Come on, right, just tell me. Vision. V V I S I O N. No word can no nobody can't go. Right? I'm, I'm at the like rewind. I'm in like the part two. Yeah, yeah. I I, I hate doing that because then it's hard to put on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Come, on, come. On. Okay, come. On. So even even music, sometimes see what I do this too. What I do is listen to the audio while I'm driving. Mm -hmm. When I'm d driving for a long distance, huh. I listen to like I go into the the Bible audio yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, right. And that, even even that, like you said, to go to sleep with. You know what I'm saying? Look at what David used to do for for Saul. He used right. to play the harp, oh, and that's how the right. demons came off. Of come, him. Come. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's different hymns. Different mm -hmm. spirits. Paul tell you that mm -hmm. wow. to to deal, you know, to to sing hymns to the Most High, right, the no. spiritual songs. So that's what keeps your mind occupied off the off the, for lack of a better terms, the fuckery, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Staying off that fuckery. Come on. Go ahead. Verse twenty four. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections. And lust, right? And 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 don't that doesn't mean you're not those thoughts. Hey, you you're just gonna completely dis destroy all those thoughts out of your mind. That's why it says, "He that endure to the end, the same shall be saved." Right. So you gotta endure all of those thoughts. Your thoughts is the worst thing to, to uh, mankind. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to manifest it in the flesh, but it's a battle to channel those thoughts. Yeah, it's a battle. You understand? Yeah, Go ahead. And, I mean, slap you. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Right, so we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. So now let's go to, um, let's go to Sirach. Let's go to Sirach 14 and 11. Huh. In the Bible. Huh. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 14 and verse 11. They want how to say come. My son, according to thy ability to do good. Matter of fact, no, before that, yeah, come. Go read the fifth verse. Come. 14, Sirach 14 and 5. Come. Sirach, chapter 14 and verse 5. He that is evil to himself, mm -hmm. to whom will he be good? Right. Wow. He, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. He shall not take pleasure in his goods. Right. So if you, uh, 
You got to love self first. You got to have knowledge of self first. You got to know what triggers you. You got to know the demons that that's attacking you. You got to know what's going on because you're going to get blindsided. You see what I'm saying? And you can't love nobody else if you don't love yourself. Right. It start everything, charity, everything starts with home first. That's why a man that can't rule his household in order, not as a beast, not as a, a tyrant. If you can't rule your household in order, you're not fit to rule men. You can't lead a congregation. You can't lead. And see, that that be the crazy thing, because a lot of these brothers, when you really dissect them, mm -hmm. their wife will run them in their house, and then they want a position of power amongst the brotherhood. Oh my God. <laughs> my nigga, you got to work that out before <laughs> you can even think right. about running a brother. Because right. 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 it be like that. Yeah. I've seen it. Right. I'm talking about powerful brothers in the flesh that you'll see like, yo, these are powerful brothers. Yeah. And they be ran by their women. Yeah. They be ran by their women. Yeah. Now, sometimes now, sometimes your woman going to give you attitude, whatever, whatever, right. but she shouldn't be running you. No. You can go through your arguments. You're going to go through all of that. That's what we do. Yeah. That's part of enduring also. Of course, but if, she's, if she wears the pants... <laughs> Spiritually mm -hmm. and sometimes physically. Right, right, right. If she's wearing those pants, then bro, you're not fit to be a leader. Right, yeah, you're not. You can't leave your home. Right. You can't right. leave your home. Come. Okay? So now let's go to um verse eleven. Yeah, let's go to let's go to eleven. Verse eleven. My son, according to thy ability to do good to thyself and give the Lord. His due offering. Right. You see, so you got to give the Lord his due offering and you got to be able to have to do, have that ability to do good to thyself. Uh -huh. Okay, self accountability. Okay? Uh -huh. So let's go to um, Job 38 and 3. Uh -huh. Job 38 and 3. This is the book of Job, chapter 38, and verse 3. And when everybody have it, say, come. come. Gird up now thy loins like a man, mm -hmm. for I will be man of thee, and as of thou me. And this is what happened when Job was talking all this shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the most I said, nigga, gird up, talk that shit now, nigga. Gird up your loins like a man right, right. and talk to me like that. What's up? Right, right, right. right. What's going on? Checking him. Right, you see what I'm saying? Uh, so you got to be ready to gird up your loins to talk to the Most High. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you have to. Uh -huh. So you have to check yourself. You have to have accountability of your doings and of your thoughts. Don't let your thoughts manifest through the flesh. Uh, if you're sitting there, you're tired. Because I was feeling like that before I got out. My rib will tell you, I'm, I'm laying on the bed. She's like, it's getting late. But I looked at the time, I said, wait a minute, it says 29 minutes, so I can get there if I get if I leave at this time. Yeah. So I said, let me let me give the rest a little extra 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But she she got on me like, yo, you know, uh -huh. and, and, and the spirit's cutting. Because mm -hmm. it's like, damn, you know, the rib done said, you know, I'm running late because right, of this. Right, right. You know, so that that spirit, you gotta you gotta pay attention to it sometimes, man. Come. Uh let's go to Luke 12 and 47. Okay, I'm coming out. 12 and 47. Come. Bless your mind. Come. Come. Oh, praise uh, God. Yum, yum. The wolf in the back. <laughs> this is the book of Luke, chapter 12, and verse 47. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, right, shall be beaten. With many stripes, you see. So, and that servant, mm -hmm. which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, mm -hmm. you knew better. Come. Now, it's different for a Christian that don't know the law. Mm -hmm. It's different for somebody that that just coming into this. Right. But if you've been in here two, three years, bro, and you know what's going on, the Most High gonna require that of you. And then it's even worse when brother's been in here longer. Mm -hmm. 
Because to more is given, more is required. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Shemaya in the building. Bun yum yum. The wolf man. The wolf. Okay. Okay. So let's read that one more time. Come, come. This is the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 47. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. So that's what's going to happen. To more is given, more is required. Go ahead. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. Right. You see, so if you don't know better, the most I have more mercy on you. God. But when you know, the, if the servant, the, the, the servant, if the servant know, that's your ass, man. Uh, Go ahead. You could just hang it on that ladder from now. You should be good. Shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. That's right. Go ahead. And to whom men have committed much, of him they shall ask the more. Right. So, and, and see, that's what brothers don't understand. Because a lot of people want, they come into this thing, and they want to be a leader all of a sudden. They want to be, they want to be. You got it? Slock it, King. Come. Luke, uh, Luke 12, chapter 47 and 48. Okay. You know, that, you come in, you know a few scriptures, you want to open up your camp. You want to you wanna go out there, oh, I don't need the elders. Yeah, I don't need this. But then when the feast days come around, you don't know, you don't know the anointed prayer. Come on. 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 You know that that's that that happens a lot. That's why there's a lot of there's, there's a lot of camps now. Mm -hmm. You know there's a lot of Israelite camps. They pop up all the time. Mm -hmm. You know I talked to a brother in Texas. He's like, "Yo, it's a new camp every day in Texas." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just popping up, and it's because a lot of people don't want to take correction. A lot of people don't want to fall in line. They just want to skip the line. Mm -hmm. They don't want to fall in line. They want to skip the line. It's like, yo, bro. You was back there, bro. Right, right. How did you get up here? You was all the way back there. I seen you when the, the line turned the corner. You was down on there, son. How are you up here right now? And, and in due time, the most high give you your increase. Okay, so let's drop that. Let's go to Philippians mm -hmm. 2 and 12. My favorite. <laughs> this is the book of Philippians, chapter 2 and verse 12. But everybody have to say, Con. Wherefore, my beloved, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, right. work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So you got you to gotta work out your own salvation. Come. Ain't nobody going to save you. Right. Right. Elder Zabak can't save none of us. Right. Elder Terrell can't save none of us. The the, 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 the the generals and the captains and the the, the, the the high priest out there in other camps, none of them can save you. Come on, come on. You see what I'm saying? All of them. Whoever's your favorite teacher can't save you. Our job is to do what? Plant, water, and the most I give the increase. But he's not going to give the increase if you're not gathering more sun. You're not taking that in that sunlight. You're not taking in the nutrients. The, the nutrients mm -hmm. from the soil. Right. You see what I'm saying? You're not you're not moving according to your ability. You're slacking. Mm -hmm. You're being sluggard, a slothful. Mm -hmm. You don't want to come around. You see what I'm saying? It's a new year, and, and, and count. If you've been in this truth, I don't. Whatever. A year, you, a year two years. Mm -hmm. If you was partying like it's 1999 on January 31st every goddamn midnight. For, for at least 10 years straight, if you were going to clubs, bars, going to somebody's house party, and you're not here Come. for the Lord's New Year, you got to really reevaluate your thought process. Because that's some corny shit. Come. Unless you got a valid excuse, there's no reason why you, you shouldn't be 
not only here, in everybody's new moon feast that's holding it down tonight. Check yourself. If you're watching from home without a valid excuse, you got Cain's offering. Period. Let's go to Second Peter's 1 and 10. I'm, I'm going to do the priest of Bach. I'm going to wind it down. <laughs> <laughs> this is the book of Second Peter's, chapter 1 and verse 10. Or 1 and 10, you see right there? Yeah, 1 and 10. Oh, 1 and 10. Yeah, 1 and 10. That's what I got. Second Peter, chapter 1 and verse 10. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make sure your calling and election sure. Right. For if he do these things, he shall never fall. Right. So you got to give diligence, man. Huh? You got to make your election sure. Huh? Now, we, we can't make our election of knowing is the 144. We going to be part. Because Paul said, don't dare make yourself that number. Right. Huh? So don't say, oh, yeah, I'm 144,000. Nah, bro. Make your election sure. Only you know what you're doing behind closed doors. Huh? Only you know. Now, don't know. Everybody can see your effort. Right, right. Yeah, come you see what I'm saying? But if you got an excuse all the time and it's valid, the most high knows. Right. But a lot of brothers going to look at you, yo, are right, you full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. you got to make your election sure. Right. So whether it's, like Preza Box say, whether it's two brothers and sisters here or it's a thousand, the work going to continue to go on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because why? Brothers is trying to make their election sure. Right. We trying to we trying to get our salvation with fear and trembling as individuals because we cannot go in as a camp. Right. The camp is the brotherhood, the sisterhood. It makes us stronger. Right. It makes us lean on each other. It makes us feed off of each other. Right. And that's what the purpose is. Right. The council, the the eldership, the leadership, the the the. the, the Com, what was the I can't say the word the com, camaraderie? Com, um, how you say it? Yeah, camaraderie. Camaraderie. Mm -hmm. That's what this is about. You're stronger uh -huh. when you're around brothers and sisters. The fellowship. Uh -huh. The fellowship. Come. Uh -huh. It's a lot of king. Like not too long ago, me, Ashi, and Yahweh. Uh, mm -hmm. It was three of us. Against what? Against like 300 of the Jewish <laughs> no, no, More than 300. <laughs> <laughs> that was 300. That three of us, Con. it felt like it was thousands of us. Con. Con. You know Con. what I'm saying? Con. So, yo, we held it down. We held it down in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? They were like that. Like, yeah, how y'all shot and the angels was there. Nah, man, nah, man that, that, that happened with the MAGA incident, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it yeah, was, yeah. you know, people can say what they want. When you really look at the video, and I, I actually found a video that I'm, up, I'm, I'm re-uploading. Yeah, it, I, I and need that, that video is um, it's going to be on Hopeful Leg. It's going to be Friday night. Come on. Put it at 11.44 p.m. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> 11.44? Yeah, 11.44 11 11 11 It's 11.44 or 10.44. But um, when you see, when, when brothers was teaching, yeah, brothers at all those were kids and teenagers. Them pack of woods was walking behind us with sticks, mm. bottles, all types of shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? My rep told me that. You ain't seen them people walking behind you with the sticks? I said, nah, like we in the zone. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? But even when, when that cracker took over his shirt and they did that hoorah shit, yeah, yeah. I thought they was going to rush. And I told the brothers, you can ask Shao Paul. Mm -hmm. you can, I said, yo, we're going to form a circle. Mm -hmm. yeah. I said, if these niggas rush us back to back, mm -hmm. we, we put back to back, don't let them... Don't let nobody get caught up in that wave. Right, right, if we right. back to back, we nobody's behind us to get hit. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, so right. We, that's how you fight. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you outnumbered, <laughs> right, right, back right. to back. You know what right. I mean? Right. But um, we was ready to go at it, and it, there was a lot of them. If that was in any other state besides, like, a state in the South, mm -hmm. nigga, that was a lynching party. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, they was going to try to lynch us. Right, huh? You know, the good old boys would have came down and, and, and joined the joined the circus, mm -hmm. and, and we would have had a, 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 a run for our money. But the angels stood with us, man. Right? Crazy, the most. I'm gonna sure. tell you how deep that was because at the end of that video, the 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 secret service mm -hmm. came to us, and they said, "Are you guys all right? <laughs> oh wow! Because we seen a mob." Right, right. 
they seen that from far. Right. They like this is like it's five of these niggas. Right, right, right. Yeah. It was five of us. It was really seven, but two of them was cowards, <laughs> and they stood in the car while all of that was going down. Cowards. What? Yeah, they no longer with us. Yeah, they cowards. Cowards. They were Super cowards. Them. Yeah, they were <laughs> with us. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Super cowards. Oh, okay. Snap. But um, yeah, let's go to Second Ezra's fourteen and thirteen. But yeah, the, se- the Secret Service said. Are you guys all right? Because we seen the mob outside. Well, they was they were definitely mob deep. It was yeah. a mob. Yeah. They had y'all back from way no. in the back. Yeah, and they, they come when everything is clear. That's what, are you all right? Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. They came to the Secret Service. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, right, right. Yeah, they escorted them there. Like, right, right, yeah. right here. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of spirits in that day, man. Uh, it's the book of Second Ezra, chapter fourteen, and verse thirteen. Everybody have it. Say, Con. Hold on, hold on. Con. Okay. Fourteen, thirteen. Yes, yeah, Second Ezra, Second Ezra, fourteen and thirteen. All right, All right I got it. Con. Now, therefore, set thy house in order, mm-hmm. and reprove thy people. Right. Comfort such of them as be in trouble, and now renounce. Corruption. Right, so you gotta put your house in order. Come. And what's our house? This is our house. Of course, as individuals, you should have your house in order. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, you know, you got a new wife, you're working with her, you got a wife that's rebellious, you gotta work with her. But set your house in order and make sure this house is in order too, because that that's your your getaway. If you're dealing with demons at the house and you got if if the camp is in order now, you know you could you could rely on the brother. The sanctuary, yep. right? This is your sanctuary, your safe haven. Come, okay. Go ahead. Verse fourteen. Let go from deep mortal thoughts. Mm-hmm. Cast away the burdens of men. Put off now the weak nature. Put off that weak Come. nature. Come. Let go of the mortal thoughts. Come. Start thinking in the spirit. You understand? So it, it's saying, and then when it say weak nature. Like, spiritually, look at it. Who, who's the weaker vessel? Who the most I call a weaker vessel? The woman. So he said, nigga, stop acting like a bitch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> most high telling you put off that weak nature, man. Right, right. Stop acting like a woman. Right, right, right. You acting feminine. Right, right. Most high telling you that. When, when a brother say it, no, nah, brother, you going off. You can't talk to me like that. Yeah, right. Nigga, what? Right. Well, this is here. Right, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Right. Uh, yeah, you can read, you can read 15. No, I, the most I didn't say it like that. Right. <laughs> right. right. Verse 15. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. You see? So you got to oh. haste from the, you got to flee from these thoughts. Oh. Every time these thoughts come and, and go, but they come in and go like a revolving door. Right, right. And you, sometimes you'll get the same demon. That he'll ba- he'll double back. He'll, he'll what they say. The Jake say he's gonna spin the block on you. Mm-hmm. Right, come. The demon will spin the block in your mind. It'd be the revolving door. The nigga went in. Mm-hmm. You was like, okay, yeah, I, I got rid of that demon. Now I just come right back. Boom. You're like, what the hell? Mm-hmm. Especially if you come from smoking weed in the world. Yeah. You know. You're going to always have that thought. That's what they always said. Yeah. Once a crackhead, always a crackhead. That's not meaning a crackhead can't stop smoking crack, but the thoughts is they're going to always fight it. Yeah, You're going to always have that. Yeah. Whether Whatever drug you use, whatever your sin was, your lust, that nigga sitting dormant. Right. You could defeat it in the flesh, but that's it, the thought is always going to be there because that was your experience. Right. Right. That's what you experience in life, whatever it was. It's still programmed. In yeah. yeah. Come on, you know what I'm saying? And that's part of enduring. Come on, come on. But you got to learn how to channel your thoughts. Okay? That's... Yeah. Uh, yeah, read the next verse. Come on. Verse 16. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Right? And that that's going to happen... It, it, the demon, they say sometimes, well, the scripture says seven more demons will jump on right, when you go back to that. So that's why once you defeat the demon, you got to continue to fight that demon and don't let him come back. Don't give in. Mm-hmm. Now, there's certain demons that you won't battle to the, to the day your hour shot comes. There's going to be those demons. Everybody got, there's brothers that got porn demons. You know, brothers that are single. You know, but there's brothers that got, um, you know, uh, uh, um, 
a smoking demon. Right. You know, that I know brothers that, that smoke, you know, in the truth. And they, they, they're fighting it. They tell me, yo, brother, pray for me. I don't know how you did it. I, I can't I can't say nothing. I, I can just say it was the most high. It was the most high. It wasn't me. I know what I did to help it. I walked my dog seven miles a day. I was talking to my dog, Gabar, like he was a man. You know what I'm saying? I'm walking. I'm, I was going to the gym. I never went to the gym. So I started going to the gym. So I used certain things, but... All together, when you boil it, put it all in a pot, it was the most hot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you you gotta stay busy though. You gotta stay. Be- what they say? Um, uh, uh, idle mind, devil's playground. They go idle mind, devil's playground. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. He mm-hmm. was gonna say something too though. Yeah, kind. And you did positive things to get rid of negative things. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, people do negative things. <laughs> To get rid of negative things, like right. they're gonna have some stress <laughs> problems, they're gonna start smoking. Right, right, right. 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 They got problems with whatever, they're gonna start gambling. Right, right. So instead uh-huh. of using some other vice to get rid of another vice, he he exercised. He went to the gym. He walked. Uh-huh. He he was he was literally in therapy. But he wasn't talking to a psychiatrist. Like you said, he was talking to his dog. Right. And that's one of the things. <laughs> no, you might, you might think that's easy. That's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. letting things out. Right. Because what, what happens a lot of times, we hold things in as men. Right. Mm. We bottle it up. We bottle it up. Need an outlet. You know? I saw a, 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 a TikTok, and this female was like, when men have issues, who do they talk to? Yeah. And all the men were like, there's somebody to talk to? <laughs> we don't talk to nobody. Right. <laughs> we, we just deal with it. God. Women got someone to talk to. Yep. They can, you know. Nah, yeah. But men, we just deal with it. God. Right. God. So so that's a powerful thing, man. Yeah, yeah. The definitely. Gabar know all types of stuff. If he could talk, <laughs> the nigga be like, yo, son, yeah, 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 he got a whole book. You know what I mean? And he, was the ill thing is he, he used to sit there and just, he'll look at me like, man, I you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, just look at me. And that's why I had a, a, a like, I understand the son of Sam. I mean, the, 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 the dog was talking to him, though. He yeah, said like, the dog, the, the dog was, so, yeah, I just yeah, like yeah. the fact that the dog ain't say nothing back. He just, just listen, he just listen wow, man. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, I give him a snack and he happy. And then, hey, yo, you ready to walk? Let's go. You know, throw a nigga in the sprinkler. <laughs> God, God. You know, let him bite on something. I'm swinging him around. That's, that's, it's therapy, man. Yeah, God, God, God. It's therapy. You know? You God, God. Say yeah, I got something to add real quick. Uh, in this society, men is not allowed to show their emotions. Right. You know, we supposed to, like, man up. Like right. Gird up on norms. Mm-hmm. You know, hide that thing away. You know, mm-hmm. we can't show our true feelings. We can't show that emotion. But right. I yeah, that's what I'm like. Right. 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 That was also, before though. That was the the night the night the eighties. Right. Right. But that alphabet, once they came out with the alphabet, <laughs> this 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 right. it's it's help with right. right. help with loops. Yeah. You know what I mean? It changed. You know what I mean? Men show more emotion than other women. Right. Too much. <laughs> and that 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 becomes mental health issues. Man. Yeah, no, you, know, you be bottling up all of that stuff, and that's why you need a release. Sometimes you just walk, bro. Right. Walk yeah, till right. your feet hurt. Right. You know what I'm saying? You be like, yo, I just gotta go home. So walk so far sometimes, just take a bus back right. or a train back. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Or, or take the bike and go on a train. You, you know what I'm saying? You could you could ride, take a bike if you got a bike, pedal that joker, ride it, and ride it as far as you can go. Yeah. And then if you get once you get tired, and take the train back with the bike. Right, right, right. You know. Uh, and Shalaki, you know we, they, you know, <laughs> he so said, dog is man's best friend because <laughs> he literally had right. dogs growing him up. He was sucking on right, dogs, right, right. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, right. and right, right. Yeah, yeah, but, two, um, two, yeah, two kids. They do tell you that pets. Actually, do help you to de stress. Right. Mm-hmm. right. Right. When you have pets, mm-hmm. like you can have the shittiest day. You walk in the house, the dog is excited to yeah, see right. you. Right. <laughs> right. Right. They, they, you could look it up. There's a program that they gave uh, prisoners in jail. Mm-hmm. And it was like the, the most hardcore cats, and they would give them a dog. Mm-hmm. And it will, it, will, it will relieve so much stress, and it'll make them calm down. Calm. 
because now they got somebody you know to talk to and, and deal with and it it, it it was a big study they was doing that there was a big program y'all can look it up PTSD too right for PTSD man yeah, yeah no they, there's shirts they in Walmart down in the south they got a, a shirt that says dogs is my favorite people mm. Mm. you know what I mean mm. and and I, that, I got a lot of dogs now yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, yeah. And it's, yeah. yeah I, I, I love, I'd rather be around dogs <laughs> than people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, Except, right. you know, of course, my, my camp, my right, brothers. Right. I'd rather right. be, but I even in the, I don't, this New York City shit, I don't want to be around all these people. I'd rather right, be right. in the backyard with nobody around my dogs. Right, and, right. and just chill. Right, right. It gives me it gives me an escape. Right. Right. It's you know? solitude. Right. Yeah. So let's go to James 2 and 18. Come James 2 and 18. Here's the book of James, chapter 2, verse 18. Anyone who has it, say come. Come. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Right. And that, see, brothers will read this, and they'll just say, Yeah, you know, I don't eat pork. I'm not going, I'm not smoking. I'm not doing certain things. Yeah. Well, what about the feast days? Uh, yeah. Uh, Where's your faith? These are these are feast days that the Most High command is laws, statutes, and commandments. Uh, right. These are statutes that's supposed to be done forever. These are statutes. These are the the feast of the Lord. Mm-hmm. Niggas was celebrating everything in the world, mm-hmm. but don't go hard for the Most High. Mm-hmm. That's all. Where is your faith when it comes to the feast? Well, I keep the Sabbath. Okay, this is bigger. This is it, not bigger than the Sabbath, but it all comes together. Uh-huh. It's bigger than one law you're keeping. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? These are customs. This is what makes it. This was gives us a Hebrew Israelite heritage identity. Uh-huh. We're not following d- their uh, 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 feast days. Their Memorial days. We following the memorials of the Lord that the Lord gave us. So you got to want to go in on this, man. So, you know, faith without works is dead. Now let's go to Matthew 12 and 36. Mm-hmm. Love This is the book of Matthew, chapter 12 and verse 36. And it reads, But I say unto you, God, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Right. So you got to watch what you say and don't let your thoughts always manifest in your flesh. Sometimes you might want to say something, but it, it could provoke a brother or a sister to go completely off. And you got to be aware of that because you don't want to be that stumbling block as well. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you could... I'm, I'm known for going hard on certain individuals, and then brothers, you know, brothers don't want to be a part of the camp. Mm-hmm. That's happened mm-hmm. multiple times. Mm-hmm. And they're no longer with us. They're like, yo, <laughs> chief, chief talked to me crazy. It's like, yo, bro, you was, and I don't do that. Y'all see how I give it up. Like, yeah, I God, joke God. and I chill, but it's God. like, yo, my nigga, and, and then nobody will say nothing, and I'm, I'm like, nah, somebody got to say something. Because right, right, right. it be burning in me, like, right, yo, right, bro, right. you acting like a bitch right now. <laughs> Damn. You know what I'm saying? Right, you just, what's up? What's going on? Right. And, and and I'm saying it out of love. I'm not trying to. And then I won't say that in front of everybody. Right. I pull a brother to the side like, yo, my nigga, you acting like a bitch. Right. Mm-hmm. And if you feel some type of way about how I'm giving it up, you want to get it off your chest, I don't mind. Let's go. Right. But we're going to do this one-on-one. We're not going to do this amongst the people. Right. You know what I'm saying? And right. that's how I give it up. I and mean, that's the way I... I I show love, bro. Uh, yeah. That's I'm, I'm trying to get my brothers right, and it just some some fuckery. Sometimes you you just can't let it you can't let it slide. Yeah, uh, you can't let it slide. Uh, you got to give it up. So every idle word you're gonna be held accountable for, man. Uh, okay, go ahead. For by the for by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy works thou shalt be condemned. You see, so by thy works thou shalt be ju- justified. Thy words, words, words like right? Words. Thy words, read that again. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Right, thy words. So thy, thy words is what you manifest in your in your mind. 
That's why I tell you uh, a wise man hold of his tongue. Sometimes you got to hold your tongue. Certain brothers, you know, that's that's why we have so many splits in HOI New York. Right. Brothers are just reacting off of emotion and not actually sitting down and saying, you know what? Let's hash all this shit out. I got a lot on my mind. I got to say this, but I'm going to do it this way instead of acting and reacting to throwing shit, mm-hmm. wanting to fight all the time and just acting like a nigga. You see what I'm saying? Because you those words, especially if you're speaking to great men, you don't know who's who. You know what I'm saying? You don't know who's who. If brothers is still laboring from years and years and years, and here you come some Johnny come lately, and you're going to talk crazy to an elder or a brother that's been putting in work. Any brother. Cause, but when you look at elders, it's different. You see what I'm saying? And it's... It, it, it's crazy. You you got that now. Brothers is going crazy on elders, yeah. uh-huh. and it's it, that is this is this young generation of like this drill rapper music yeah. shit. Uh-huh. These yeah. niggas is they disrespect the dead, they disrespect the elderly, and and that was something that it said about our enemies, about Esau. It said they will have no regard to your elderly, yeah. to your young, to this, and that's the way our people are now. First yeah. hip. Right, uh, and we the only ones really that do that to our own. Esau do that to us, but some of them kids be wilding on their parents. You know, they they'll kill their parents in a heartbeat too. But us as a whole, we it's crazy, and as a nation, it's different. Breeze the Bach just went on the um he had that video with Sons of Thunder. Yeah, I don't know if y'all seen that. His little sit down, and he was going in on that and talking about how his sister told him about these Africans. That they said When the elders get a certain age They don't spend their money And that's wisdom They don't let them spend their money They pay all their bills So they can save their money And leave that uh, an inheritance to their children okay. mm-hmm. That's real mm-hmm. But they do that in their villages Now we had our communities We can do that too Because right, right. we have crops growing We have things going We like hey you ain't got to uh, uh, spend your money, you get your social security, whatever. Stash that. We're gonna give you some chickens. We're gonna we got some meats. We got some vegetables. We're gonna take care. Of you. you see what I'm saying? You need to go somewhere. You ain't taking an Uber. Make sure a brother or sister drive you. Calm. Stuff like that, man. That's real. Yeah, calm, Ken. We still could do it. Yeah, we we going to do it because I'm waiting on 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 a couple more solidified brothers that supposed to put this money down. And we're going to do it. Right. We're going to do yeah, it. Even without a community, you know what I'm saying? We can still look out for the elders. Right, right, right. Because right, right. you got some elders in Israel, and they're, they're really struggling. Yeah. Right. right. They're going through it. Like, you know, so, <clears throat> like, what is an extra $10, $20, man? Yeah, Proverbs 3. Yeah, read it. Okay. Yeah. You read uh, it, you call it out, you read it, and you break it down. Uh, uh, Proverbs 3, uh, 31. Shuaki. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. You know, uh, just like you said, man, <laughs> Esau is the one who's supposed to disregard the elderly and have no regard for the young. But we have taken that upon ourselves to disregard the elderly. We have no respect for each other. We have no respect for the following next generation, the the generation that was there putting down bricks for us. The reason we're here is because of what they did, right? I saw this video of this kid kicking his mother in the stomach. Oh, what? Right? She got up and he went after her again, kicked her down again. Right? This is why you see kids dying young, man. Right. The scripture lets you know that the children are supposed to honor their parents, that their days may be long. Yeah, right. uh-huh. You disrespect your elders, you disrespect your parents, your mother, your father. Uh-huh. You're, you cut your days, man. Right, right. You just, <laughs> you just shorten your life. <laughs> right. yeah. The most I don't play with that. Yeah, yeah, but it, <laughs> you, do, it, you shorten your life because if you disrespect your own household, then you disrespect anybody on the street. And you're going to disrespect the wrong nigga. 
and you're gonna blow your head off. And that's that's how it happens. Because if you don't have, you don't honor your parents, you ain't gonna honor no Tom, Dick, and Harry on the street. You see what I'm saying? And then you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna buck up to the wrong individual, and that's the last thing you're gonna see. You know. Like me, for example, I, I grew up, my father's been in Cuban. Mm. Now, you know how them old school yeah. <laughs> Cuban films right. are. Like, uh, they'll whoop your behind. They're rough, yeah. they're rough. Uh, right? right? So, when my father passed away, I was already older, man. Right. Like, he knew that I used to smoke cigarettes, mm. right? <laughs> but I would never smoke in front of my father. Right. Mm. Uh, you know, like, he know I smoke. He's like, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, do your thing. I'm like, nah. It's, it's just a, it, I feel like, like it's a yeah, setup. Yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> I feel like it was a two by four wailing on you. Right, right, right. I'm like, nah, man. I know, pop. I'm right. good. But yeah. once I leave the area, right, right. I drive away, then I do my thing. You know what I'm saying? But in his presence, no. Right, right, right. right. You know? Come. So let's go to Deuteronomy 30 and 18. Mm -hmm. I got. Three more after that, and we're we going to uh, close it out with a prayer and anointing. Uh -huh. You said Deuteronomy 30, 18? Come. Come. All right. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, and verse 18. Would everybody have it? Say, come. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, Jesus. Uh -huh. I denounce unto you this day that he shall surely perish, and that he shall not prolong your days upon the land, uh -huh. whether thou pass it over Jordan to go to possess it. Uh -huh. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you mm -hmm. that I have set before you life and death blessings and curses mm -hmm. therefore choose life that both thou that both thou and thy seed may live right that's how you and your generation shall live right? Come. choose life okay be self accountability mm -hmm. okay go ahead read on verse 20 that thou mayest love the Lord Thy God, Yahweh, and thou, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life, and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, right. and to give them. Right, you see, so that's what that's what it is. Like, even when you go back to creation, right? The, the creation of Genesis, right? When you go back to Adam and Eve, what did what did Adam do? Did he take self accountability? Yeah, uh, uh, when the Most High called for him, what did he do? He blamed it on her. He blamed it on her. Huh. So it's like, yo, every and that's the problem with our people. We want to pass the hot potato. Come. We don't want to say, yo, it was me. Yo, I fucked up. Mm -hmm. So lock you. It's just, yo, that's it. And you don't know how many relationships could be. Mm -hmm. Fixed. Uh -huh. yeah. If you could just say yes, like yo, bro, I fucked up, bro. Come, come. Right, so yeah. right. Well, where we going from here? Right, right. You come straight up like that. If, if, if the only way a man can't respect that, if he ain't in the right spirit. Right. Yep. If a brother come, yo, I fucked up, I so lock you. Come. I respect that. Yo, let's move on. Yeah. Right, right. But if you sitting up there like I ain't doing nothing wrong. I, I, heart full of pride. The pride, yeah. the pride is seeping out your pores. Yeah. It's like, how can I break bread with this cat? Because yeah. he gonna do something that's gonna make me rock his knot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just we gotta be, we gotta hold ourselves accountable. Uh -huh. We got to. Okay, so let's go to Second Chronicles seven and fourteen. Appreciate. Go ahead. <clears throat> Proverbs 15 and 1. Proverbs 15 and 1. A soft answer turneth away wrath. Come on. But grievous words stir up anger. Right. Just like uh, Chief bringing out, man. You know, you, you come straight up and you say, hey, man, I'm sorry for what I did. You know, I messed up. You know, I'm going to try to do better. But you come... You're wrong and you want to be strong? Yep. Right. <laughs> right. You're going to hell off. Right. You're going to hell off. You're going to cause some problems. You're going to be wrong and want to come up in my face. This kid is yeah. you to the fight. <laughs> yeah, you add that fuel to the fire. It'd it be like that when you, when you, when you lend a nigga some money. <laughs> you let, and that's in the pocket for you. You lend him some money, right? Give me that. Let me get that real quick. 
You you borrow some money, mm-hmm. and and then when when it and you all smile. Oh yo man, you you my man, son. Yo you yo you help me out, son. Right. Now when it's asked for back, yo son, come on son. Right. Man, take your damn twenty dollars, nigga. Yeah. Right, right, right. What? Right. Where yeah. the energy come from, right. man? Right. Like if you was in the wrong ask for your money that you loaned him. Yeah, where That's the energy crazy. come from, brother? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that that yeah. was like your bro, I just looked out for you before you went homeless, yeah. and now I'm I need it back, and this is a problem. And when he came to you, he came humble. <laughs> right, huh? yeah. yeah, super humble. Yeah. Where's that at, man? I know that's in here. Uh, yeah, Jay got that arrogant spirit, man. Is this yeah. right? What's, what, what's the line? How it goes? Yeah, how it goes. This is the whole first part of the chapter They're talking about when you lend somebody money. Yeah, it's like he's gonna come humble when when it's time for you to give him the money, but when it's time to pay back, he has a I can't remember it's that's paraphrasing the scripture. Like paraphrasing, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, then the, the, this is Sirach twenty nine and twenty eight. It says read. Is it the is it the one that says these things are grie- grievous to a man of understanding? The upbraiding, no, uh, and reproaching of the man. No. Not that one, right? There you go. It's twenty. It is twenty now. Twenty nine seven. Now, we we can start uh start 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 from the twenty first twenty nine and one twenty nine and one copy. Ecclesiastes twenty nine and verse one. He that is merciful will lend unto his neighbor, and he that strengtheneth his hand keepeth the commandments. Right, so if you're merciful, you, you know, you got mercy on your brothers, you got something, or your sisters, you can help them out, right. help them out. They're going through something, okay, go ahead. Lend to thy neighbor in time of his need, uh-huh. and pay thou thy neighbor again in due season. See, that's what the scripture is telling you now, that's wisdom. Lend to thy neighbor and also pay thy neighbor again in due season when right. you can do it. Okay? Or especially if you give a time limit. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Go ahead. In the grace period. Right, grace period. Verse 3. Keep thy word and deal faithfully with him. Right. Keep thy word and deal faithfully with him. Go ahead. And thou shalt always find the thing. That is necessary for thee. If you keep your word, you got a bank of America for life. <laughs> you got a brother that will always, yo, bro, you know, I, I, I lend that brother. He, he going through, yo, he uh, always pay me back. Yo, I got you, man. Just ask, uh, brother. You, you I live. got you. Come, come. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Many, when a thing was let them, reckon it to be found and put them to trouble that helped them. Right. Now you, now... You putting in trouble those that helped you. You ducking them. Mm-hmm. You running around. How many of y'all watched the Bronx Tale? Y'all ever seen the nigga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he was chasing him for $20. Yeah, he said, yo, where they going to Yo, where my $20, right. man? And nigga running, and gone. And Sonny and said and something deep. Right. Sonny, what Sonny told him? He said, he said, you know that guy $20? He said, right. don't worry about it. Next time you see him, you don't have to worry about it. Just. Yeah, he said, he said, he $20, see you, $20. You, you got off cheap. You got off cheap, yeah. right? Go ahead. You got off cheap. Right. Because right. imagine when you lend more money. Yeah. Right, Carla. You see what I'm saying? Or even trust a brother or a sister to cause that happens too. We got we got we got messed up with the land situation. Mm, yeah, yeah. You Carl. see what I'm saying? Having having this fool put in the fool under his name. Right. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we got we got we got bent over. Oh. And and you know, the most high gonna deal with him accordingly. Hopefully it's a swift judgment and everybody can see it. You know what I mean? But through the spirit, this 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 happens. You see what I'm saying? And we we look out for this fool. Right. We were showing love. We did our part. Oh. And now him and his ex-wife want to be a demon. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But go ahead. Verse 5. Till he hath received it, he will kiss a man's hand. Yo, he gonna be your best friend. Uh, yo, you yeah. lending him money. Yo, I, yo, I meet you. Where you want me to meet you? <laughs> I, you want me to come to the Bronx and nigga live in Staten Island? You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bring some water with me. Yeah, we just you want to bring something. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I, yo, yo, I, I, I'm, I meet you. Right, what right, time? Right. I'll be there early. Mm. 
Nigga be right there. And you coming off work, nigga, waiting for you at your front door. Dedicated. Okay, go ahead. And for his neighbor's money, he will speak submissively. Submissively. Go ahead. But when he should repay, <laughs> he will prolong the time uh -huh. and return words of grief uh -huh. and complain of the time. You see that? Uh -huh. <laughs> tell, me, tell me the Bible ain't yo, real. Yo, the Bible is too real, kid. Okay? You see what I'm saying? Yo, yo Jake is off, man. Yo, yo, the most high know Jake. God. He created this nigga. God. <laughs> the most high created this nigga. God. God. You see what I'm saying? God. That's God. how our people are. God. God. Yeah. Yo, I ain't gonna, yo, and they'll say all types of, yo, man, right. take your money, man. Right. Yeah. Some niggas are dead, you yeah, I don't owe you shit. Why you right. acting that way? Right, why right. you acting that way? <laughs> With arrogance, sir. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, or, or they act like they forgot. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's the other thing. Yeah. yeah, they forgot. Right. 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 Yo, if I lend you money, God, God. I'm not supposed to remind you. Right, right, right. right. You right. know you got my money. Mm -hmm. So... You acting like you forget, right? To me, you just trying to dodge. Right, yeah, that's right. 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 You off, man? Mm -hmm. you know yeah, man. big time. Go ahead. Verse six. If he prevail, he shall hardly receive the half. You might get half, okay? If you prevail, go ahead. And he will count as if he had found it. Uh huh. If not, he have deprived him of his money. Right. Go ahead. And he, he gonna short you, God. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I only yo, yo, son, I only got I only got five. Right. And it's cool right. if if that's really all you have. Right. But now you see the nigga got some new Jordans on. Right? Right. See the nigga got a new garment. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, 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 nigga at the Knicks game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm laughing, right? You owe me like a buck fifty, right? So this guy said, look, man, I ain't got no money this week. You know, the job only paid me this. Right. But I'm gonna give you fifty, right? Mm -hmm. But an hour later, I, I saw the dude at the uh, the liquor store yeah. buying the biggest any bottle, mm. <laughs> and he pulled out a like right a nice fat nut roll. Like, yeah, I'm, saying, I'm, 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 I'm looking at this dude like, yo, are you for real? Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? He, I just uh -huh. walked out. Yeah, it, it, it's it's crazy because when I when I used to. When I used to hustle and I used to promote the clubs, I used to see niggas that I gave them packs and they, they stole them. Packs, you know, the weed, mm -hmm. packs of the pills, whatever it was. And these fools, they buy them popping bottles, new, new wardrobe on, new Jordans. You want, back at that time, it was MySpace and Facebook, so they, they, they showing they new shit on. You got you all in the VIP section. Right. You know what I'm saying? Got yo is 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 uh 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 the the remember when when Lil Wayne said it ain't tricking if you got it. Right. They put in that quote. Oh, they put in uh uh first we pop bottles and then we pop models. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of this yeah. stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like these niggas and they nigga you owe me. You, I, I, I gave you a, 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 a G pack. Right. I gave you, I, I, you owe me for a, a, a quarter ounce, a, a, a quarter pound, right. and it's like, nigga, I can't get this. Yeah. And it, it was always something. And these are niggas I, I officially always just cut off. Right. You know, if they come back, they gotta have full everything. No, no more on the arm, nothing. Right. Yeah. But. It's crazy when you see that. And this is this the most high in negative, right. in, in wickedness, right. or in righteousness. Right. You're going to deal with these spirits, man. Right, right. You're going to deal with these yeah, spirits. Right. When you get to verse 7, can you read it like slow? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Now I'm still reading uh, verse um, six. Yeah. 6. Yeah. Go on. Read 6 again. For Go on. Yeah. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 29 and verse 6. If he prevail, he shall hardly receive the half. And he will count as if he had found it. If not, he have deprived him of his money. Uh -huh. And he have gotten him a enemy without cause. Right, that becomes your enemy now. Uh, Go ahead. He payeth him with cursing wow. and railings. And for honor, he will pay him disgrace. You see that? Because he, he showed you honor and love, and now you paying him with... Disgrace. Mm -hmm. You 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 literally cursing them out in your mind. 
Yeah, and sometimes it'll blood out in the flesh. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can see it in the eyes when you get a moment. Right. Yeah. You know, go ahead. Many, therefore, have refused to lend for others, for other men's ill dealings, uh -huh. fearing to be defrauded. Hey, that's me all day. Niggas don't. That's it. Nobody, nobody get, nobody gets shit. God, you the place. Right. You done messed it up for everybody. God, God. And that's the way it be. God, and, God. and there was, it was a time period because I used to give, I used to give a lot on credit. Right. And then it was like, that's it. Right. Shop is closed. No more credit. Y'all not getting nothing mm -hmm. on the arm. Right. right. Everything got to be cash up front. Right. right. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's it. And that spirit, it, it, it sucks when it comes into Israel. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. I had a brother recently tell me, he asked me what should he do about a brother that he lent money to in Israel, in the camp. Oh, oh. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and I said, but how do you know he got it? He said, ah. <laughs> I let I let it was about a buck fifty two hundred dollars, and he said I lend him the money, and I see this man, he got and he said I, I don't mean to watch but you gotta have money to eat chicken Chick Fil A, the Chick Fil A, and then I'm talking about chicken burger, chicken nuggets. Fries, the milkshake with the soda. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> I ain't got the whole shebang. You, know, you know what I'm saying? It's everything. God. And that that's that's about a forty dollar meal. Mm. And you just eating it in front of the brother. You not mention nothing. Right, mm. right, right. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And then the brother don't want to cause a, a scene. But he, I said, well, I, I, I promise you, if the man don't come with the money, he gonna he gonna double up and ask you. Again for money, mm. and that's when you, and, and no lie happened like two weeks later. What? And he told me, "Say yo, you was right." I was like, "He gonna need it," and and this is when you you put him in his place mm -hmm. and you let him know that the bank is closed. That's it. And mm. I, I look at you differently, mm -hmm. and, and your name is stained with me. Come. You see what I'm saying? And that's how you got to look at it. Uh -huh. But because you still can't hate your brother for owing for for taking your money. Right. You can't hate him. You got to forgive him. But now, you ain't got to trust me. I feed you all day, King, but not going to get right. Yeah, come, right, right, right. You know? Yeah, they just uh, swindled me. They just uh, <laughs> robbed this smoke shop in Queens, killed a dude for $150. Mm. Wow. You know? The mother can't believe it. This is, uh, she, he's the oldest of, uh, I think, like four kids. No, it's not. It was $150. Yeah, hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah. He took hundred dollars and he took fifty dollars of items from the um, smoke shop and killed the brother. Why did you lose your life for that kind of money? That's yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, wow. that's what she said. She doesn't really work for my son getting killed for hundred fifty dollars, yeah. hundred dollars and fifty dollars of items that was taken from the um, smoke shop. Yeah, hey, this is the most high judgment. Come on, come on. Well, thanks to the most high. So, but it goes into the same thing about disrespect, man. Come on, you right, mm -hmm. because. You've got to understand these guys have no respect. Like Ephraim said, they ain't got no respect for the dead. They got no respect for the living, yeah. for the old or the young. Right. And they ain't got no respect for life. Uh -huh. That you would take somebody's life, chump change. Uh -huh. So let's go uh, to Second Chronicles seven fourteen, mm -hmm. and uh, two more, and we out of here. I close it up. Second Chronicles, this is the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 2 and verse 14. And it reads. No, Second Chronicles 714. 7, 14. Oh, 714, Second Chronicles, chapter 7 and verse 14. And it reads, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. See, that's a big thing. You gotta humble yourselves. Go ahead. And pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Right. And that's the part of the reason why we're not in our land. Uh -huh. Because our people are not humbling themselves and, and, and turning from sin. Because we we got a lot of that leaven in us going even into the Passover. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. A lot of our people, that's why we're still here. You know, go ahead. Now my eyes shall be opened. And my ears attend unto the prayer 
that is made in this place. Right. So that's what we got to do. Okay. We got we got to turn from our sins, but we got to humble ourselves. Right? Most I know your thoughts. Okay. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon mm -hmm. 8 and 1. Huh. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 1. If anybody, anybody have it, say, come. Come. Um, wisdom reacheth from one end to the other, mightily, and sweetly doth she order all things. Right. You see, so wisdom is, the, is that woman, man. She's, you got you to tap into it. This is how you take accountability. Marry that woman. Go ahead. I loved her. And saw her out from my mouth. I mean, from my youth. Uh -huh. I desired to make her my spouse, uh -huh. and I was a lover of her beauty. Right, you got to be a lover of that beauty, man, of that righteousness. You got to want to tap into that. Uh -huh. Okay, so um, let's go real quick to Sirach four and seventeen. Uh -huh. Ecclesiasticus four and seventeen. Uh -huh. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter four. In verse 17, and it reads, For at the first she will walk with him uh -huh. by crooked ways, mm. and bring fear and dread upon him, and torment him with her discipline. Right, it's going to mm. torment you. Come. These laws is going to torment you because it's, 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 you're, you're turning over that filth, man. Right. It's, it's like, shit, I can't smoke. Shit, I can't pop molly. Shit, I can't. Screw all these women. Mm -hmm. Shit, I can't do these things that I once took all pleasure in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. That this is is gonna torment you. Right, right. But that's part of self accountability. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. And torment him with her discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. You see that? Now go ahead. Then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. Uh -huh. But if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. So that's what's going to happen. If you, you, know, you ain't taking no self-accountability. You're puffed up. You're proud. You can't be corrected. You can't take orders. You, you, you got no discipline. You see? So... Self accountability is the name of the game, man. Get your priorities straight. Get your house in order, and let's get the camp in order, man. Let's get the camp in order. I'm gonna be back and forth. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting as much work as I can with brothers. But understand, I'm a camper. I camp. Happy camper. You know what I'm saying? I'm a happy camper. <laughs> so I, I, I'm finna be outside. You come know what I'm come saying? Come and I can't be outside like that in Georgia because everything is so far. Right, right. But over here, and then that, even a half hour drive, I'm like, oh, this is nothing. I do this with my eyes closed. Yeah, right, right. You know, I'm used to two hour drives oh, in, in Georgia. So I'm it's like. Looking out for this. Yeah, looking out for this. Yeah. Over here, I'm looking. Now it's, it's goddamn lights everywhere. Yeah, right. Flashing if you go over 25 miles an hour. I'm like, oh. Yeah. You know, that's crazy. I never seen nothing like that in my life. There's no cameras in the South. Oh, they ain't right. even know. They ain't even know street lights in the south. You know what huh, I'm saying? Huh, so it's huh. it's a different. But I'm from here, so now right. it's like I just gotta adapt to it. Yep. But um, I'm motivated. You know what I'm saying? Huh. If this is what we dealing with for now, you know, even if there's a couple brothers that really couldn't make it to, you know, we know brothers working and stuff like that. Uh -huh. And the most I know, they thoughts. Right. Huh, huh. Most I know, all the brothers that that couldn't make it thoughts. Huh. But if you if you if you if you're hindering the process through your laziness and through your slothfulness and, and, and your slackness, the most I know your thoughts also. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? You can't blame everything on Esau. Uh, so um, self-accountability. So we're going to close out with some prayers. Um, bless the food and the drink. Um, uh, let's get an anointed prayer real quick. Go ahead, yeah, like Chief said, man, let's um, let's get New York back in order. Come, come, come. You know what I'm saying? Let's get the camp back together. Right, right now we're slacking. Right? Yeah. We're slacking big time. Come. There's no way in hell 
We have 21 men in New York. Right. New York, New Jersey. To be having camp, there's only three or four people there. Right. Don't not, look right. It's not fair. Right. And we talk about it more off camera. Yeah, come on. <laughs> so, let's get it right, man. Yeah, let's get it right. What you doing, huh? Are you gonna say the food? Oh, yeah, that's Anybody get the Oh no, that's food. Cool. Oh, no, it's oil. Huh. You ain't bring rice, right? Because I got nothing but rice. I got Benji rice. I got two pans of Spanish rice there. We gonna be some starch eating. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, we went to the um to the fishy oh, oh, and got some oh, rice, beans, oh, some oh, fish, man. chicken. Yeah, I make some a barbecue chicken. Yeah. Oh, praise the most. Come on, y'all. Pull me short. Let me know. Come on. Come on. Come So um, we're gonna face the east first. Um, this is a uh, matter of fact. Now let's let's do the the London prayer first. Let's do the London. Um, yeah, y'all know y'all praying in your subconscious. Y'all can turn this way. Y'all praying in your subconscious. Um, I'ma say it, and Baruch gonna say y'all not saying what we saying. Y'all praying to the Most High, asking um, for whatever y'all going through, what y'all need, and then. When we, Go to you, you say your name, we say your name three times. Come, okay. come. Don't repeat after me, only Baruch. Okay. Yabaraka Yahawa. Yabaraka Yahawa. Waya Shamaraka. Say it again. Waya Shamaraka. Waya Yahawa. Yahawa. Panyawa. Panyawa. Ayaka. Ayaka. Waya Kanka. Waya Kanka. Yesha Yahawa. Yesha Yahawa. Panyawa. Panyawa. Ayaka. Ayaka. Waya Shamlaka. Waya Shamlaka. Shalawam. Shalawam. Yahawa. Yahawa. Basham. Basham. Yahawa Shah. Yahawa Shah. Shema Ayo. Shema Ayo. Barak Rapa. Barak Rapa. Ah. Ah. Ashiyah. 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 Joshua, 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 Shemaya, 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 Baruch, 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 now we face the east. Now when I say the songs, right, this song 136. Every time I say his mercy endure forever, everybody say, Ka hala yahawa. Okay, so y'all gonna say that every time I finish that sentence. Alright? Oh give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good, for his mercy endure forever. Oh give thanks unto Yahweh, God of gods, for his mercy endure forever. Oh give thanks unto Yahweh, Lord of Lords, for his mercy endure forever. To him who alone doeth great wonders, for his mercy endure forever. To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endure forever. To him that stretched out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endure forever. To him that made great lights, for his mercy endure forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endure forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his mercy endure forever. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn, for his mercy endure forever. 
and brought out Israel from among them, but his mercy endured forever. With a strong hand and with a stretched out arm, but his mercy endured forever. To him which divided the Red Sea into parts, for his mercy endured forever. And made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endured forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endured forever. To him which led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endured forever. To him which smote great kings, for his mercy endured forever. And slew famous kings, for his mercy endured forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endured forever. And Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endured forever. And gave their land for an heritage, for his mercy endured forever. Even an heritage unto Israel, his servant, for his mercy endured forever. Who remembered us in our lowest state for his mercy endure forever. And have redeemed us from our enemies for his mercy endure forever. Who giveth food to all flesh for his mercy endure forever. Oh, give thanks unto Yahweh, God of heaven, for his mercy endure forever. The water Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Yahweh Shai. Kalaya. 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 Amen. Okay, real quick. Dear Heavenly Abba Yahweh, we come before you at this moment in time to give you all honor, praise, and glory to your mighty, terrible, holy name to say Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh. Why do Yahweh for everything the good, the bad, the ugly, the past, the present, the future, and especially allowing us to see another, another new year, O oh, Heavenly Abba Yahweh, in one piece and one whole with our minds? Stabilized, O oh, Heavenly Abba Yahweh, with our spirit still enduring. We pray that you continue to strengthen us, heal us, protect us, and guide us into this new year. O oh, Heavenly Abba Yahweh, not only us, but all Yahshua scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that's keeping your commandments to the best of their ability. For all the brothers and sisters that's uh, 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 watching through the internet, all the brothers and sisters that couldn't make it, O oh, Heavenly Abba Yahweh, we pray them safe travels, we pray them safety in their homes. We pray also for, uh, for, for all the brothers and sisters that's going through something right now, physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially. We pray that you comfort us all in our times of need, in our times of depression, in our times of being at a lower state, O oh, Heavenly Abba Yahweh, going through the fiery trials and tribulations that we're supposed to. We pray that you continue to pour your oil in our lamps, O oh, Heavenly Abba Yahweh, that we may continue to, to, to run this marathon, O oh, Heavenly Abba Yahweh. We also pray... That all Yahshallah have a blessed, safe, and productive new year, new moon, O heavenly Abba Yahweh. We pray also for the food that you blessed us with, the drink that you blessed us with. We ask you that you please bless it and cleanse it in the blood of Yahweh Shah. Forgive us if there's anything unclean that we don't know about that we're consuming, O heavenly Abba Yahweh. To you be the praise, honor, and glory forever and ever. We pray that you continue to bring forth your judgment upon all the heathen and those that hate and despise you and your children. And once again, to you be the praise, honor, and glory forever and ever. With that, we say we love you, O heavenly Abba Yahweh. The water Yahweh. The water Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah. Kala ya. Kala ya. Kala ya. Kala ya. Amen. Amen. Come on. Praise us. Happy new moon, Israel. Happy new moon, Israel. Happy new year. Happy New Moon, Passover in 14 days, from this day forth, and even forevermore. Hey, Let's break bread. Let's break bread. Come on. Get the guy yizzle for shizzle. All praises, all praises. I can You put some of that on, right? Come on. Let me shut that off. Just broke a hair. It kept the king.